Many historical figures in America are obscure figures because we don't remember anything, <laughs> you know? So, yes, he's obscure, but I mean, I guess maybe you should check with your teenagers if they know who like Ben Franklin is or something. Um, so is he an obscure figure? He has become one. I mean, he used to be this, he, I mean, maybe it was just the um, after effects from that trip in 1824, but I don't know if many of you have been to the Lafayette Monument in the Brandywine Valley that is uh, a little lamp, look, uh, street lamp looking thing off the side of a road, but it's like Nowheresville in near West Chester. That sounds like a town, right? Um, and it's like in a lady's yard. I met her, she was really nice. And, but when they, when they built that monument in 1895, after he had been dead for like 60 years, in 1895, 5,000 people showed up to celebrate this, not very impressive, no offense, um, <laughs> monument being put up. So um, I think, and then, you know, Maybe the culmination of the Lafayette legend comes in World War I when, um, you know, France was in a bit of a pickle. And uh, when, the, when the American, the Allied Expeditionary Forces under General Pershing came to uh, help out our old allies, the French, against the Germans, they marched into Paris and they marched straight to Peak Pou Cemetery where Lafayette is buried. And um, one of the officers famously said, Lafayette, we are here. But after that, um, you know, people got busy. New, new heroes. Yeah. There was, there was Hitler. Different you know. wars. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, he, in the, he used to be a, a bigger deal, obviously. Um, and he's, I'm not one of those writers who, I mean, I've certainly read some of these books where, you know, where the writer is like, my subject is so important. If he had never been born, there would have been a zombie apocalypse, you know. <laughs> I mean, he was important and certainly fascinating enough that, I mean, I wasted three years on him. <laughs> uh, so he's up there. But I mean, in the revolutionary generation, it's kind of an embarrassment of riches. You know, you've got your Washington, your Jefferson, your beloved hometown boy, Franklin. Um, you know, people are excited about Alexander Hamilton these days. Um, I'm maybe more partial to Henry Knox, the chief artillery officer. You just have, um, you know, John Adams. What about John Adams? James Madison. I mean, like, it's, e I mean, even, I mean, it's, there, there's a lot of talent there, you know? <laughs> <laughs>